The Department of Health reported that national average daily cases last week was lower by 52% than the previous week, and the country remains to be at moderate risk level for COVID-19 transmission with 22.2% positivity rate. However, four regions in Mindanao are still at higher risk for COVID-19. These are the regions of Zamboanga Peninsula, Northern Mindanao, Davao Region, and Sox Surgeon. DOH Undersecretary Maria Rosario Vergere said they are strictly monitoring the case trend in these regions. Hindi muling tumaas. Uh, ito ay patuloy pa rin na mataas. No? So there is that difference. Uh, baka kasi isipin ng mga tao na may bago na naman tayong wave of infections. Wala po. Ang nagkataon lang, nauna po kasi ang mga ibang area sa pagtaas ng kaso, medyo nahuli po sa pagtaas ng kaso ito pang mga areas na to. Kaya yung kanilang pagbaba ay hindi pa natin nararanasan kumpara dun sa ibang lugar. Health experts emphasize that majority of regions, especially in the National Capital Region and PLUS areas, are on a downward trend. The country still, especially in NCR, has to be at low risk classification for COVID-19 before de-escalating to alert level 1. Aside from the current metrics used for deciding the alert level in an area, the DOH said they are now also considering the target on the inoculation of children aged 5 to 11 against COVID-19. Na kapag ka nag-de-escalate tayo sa alert level 1, dadagdagan po natin ng mga puntos to consider so that we can be able to ensure and uh, magkaroon tayo ng kumpiyansa no? na kahit na tanggalan natin ng mas ma mga restrictions ang isang lugar, safe po tayo lahat. Sama ang vaccination coverage at saka yung safety seal. Health experts also reminded that the public should also be cautious in interpreting COVID-19 data before concluding that Omicron surge is close to end. Parang weather lang yan eh, diba? or, or, or signal numbers kumbaga sa, sa typhoon. Yung level of risk uh, also should determine yung ating responses. At some point, you know, um, pag uh, mataas na talaga yung vaccination rate, including our children, I think it will be safe to, to open up further. As we learn more about how the virus behaves or how the variants behave, um, minumo, uh, nire refine natin yung metrics and papano ba tayo matututong pumilos considering na uh, nandiyadyaan na ang COVID at mukhang hindi na siya aalis. Parang ano, parang siguro, uh, alam naman natin ang dengue, never naman niya nawala. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na nagtago na lang tayo sa bahay kasi natatakot tayo, mahawaan tayo ng dengue. May mga kilos tayo para makaiwas dun sa pagkakahawa. So ganun din siguro dito sa covid I go Miguel, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.